What is up guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about those essential pieces for this spring all from Uniqlo. In this video we're going to be covering shirts, pants, and even over shirts as well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. If you watch a lot of fashion YouTube then you know Uniqlo is massive overseas especially in Europe and they've definitely started to get a foothold in America as well but I still say that it's not mainstream. So I'm really excited to share some of these picks. Uniqlo is known for their great quality pieces at a reasonable price. So if anything catches your eye you can find it in the description box as well. Now with that laid out let's do it so first up we have the wide pleated pant now obviously it's in the name it has a much wider fit so if you prefer that silhouette then I definitely think this is gonna be for you this is just a touch out of my comfort zone but I still find that it looks really good for sizing I went with a medium on all the bottoms which typically ranges from a 30 to 33 inch waist and I'm a 31 inch waist and what's nice about this pant is it has an elastic waistband so if you go too small then obviously it has the flexibility to be a little bit more roomy and if you go too big it has a drawstring which is really nice as well and I definitely utilize that on these pants for myself and of course it has that pleat down the middle which is certainly back in style right now but I do like it just as an added detail another thing that is great about these pants is you can certainly dress them up or down depending on what you like to style it with so for example I'm wearing a thermal here which is definitely a bit more of a casual look but you could also throw over a collared shirt if you wanted to dress this up now on Uniqlo's site you can do alterations so I probably would have gotten about a half inch or an inch off the bottom of this just to have a slightly less of a break but overall I still think it fits great and I know this is actually the aesthetic that they're going for just when you look on their website. Now wide fitting pants are not going to be for everybody and I'll be honest even when I wear these I do feel a bit out of my comfort zone. So if you're like me and feel a bit more comfortable and prefer that fitted and tapered look then check out the smart ankle pants. For a good comparison I got these in the same color as the wide pleated pants and as you can notice here they have a very different fit. It comes with a slight crop to it which in my opinion is something that I love to style. So obviously compared to the wide pleated trousers it's on the completely opposite end of the spectrum. One has a full break to it and one has no break and a crop. So again it's all preference and what you think looks best for you and your body type but personally I think this is extremely flattering and I love the taper all the way down to the ankle. I also got these in a medium and again they do feature that drawstring however these do not have that elastic waistband but this material is made up of their ultra stretch fabric so it definitely has quite a bit of give to it. Now let's talk about a great transitional piece. And in this case, it's gonna be this waffle knit long sleeve crew neck. There's not a whole lot of frills here. It does feature a nice split hem design on the side, which I really like. Again, I did go with a medium here and I like that more snug fit. If you want it to be a bit more oversized, obviously you could size up to a large or whatever it would be in your scenario. This is such a versatile piece for spring. You could wear it standalone because it brings so much texture to an outfit or use it as a layering piece as well. I bought this in white as well as beige and they have some other color options too, but I definitely think this is a great basic to have in your wardrobe and when it comes to the quality and cost of this piece I'm just really impressed with it I've seen some that are twice the cost of this but still do not have the quality that this does so this one is an absolute no-brainer to me I definitely think you need to have something like this in your wardrobe now let's talk about another basic and that's this Supima cotton tee and this is made up of 100% cotton and again I did go with the medium here and I love the fit of it it hugs the arms and chest really well I love how soft to the touch it is and for only $15 it's really hard to beat this again nothing too crazy here obviously at the end of the day, it is a basic white tee, but I'm telling you, not all white tees are created equal, and I love the fit of it. And they also have a bunch of other color options too. If you don't know, Supima cotton is essentially just the longest strands of fiber that are in cotton. It is a very rare material as far as cotton goes, because for all of the cotton that is harvested, only 1% is considered to be Supima. And essentially what that means for you is there's more durability long-term. So it's not gonna fray or pill as easily, and over time, it's gonna hold its shape a lot better too. Supima is typically a lot more expensive than 15 bucks, so I'm not quite sure how they did that here. But now let's get into some more of the fun stuff. Another great pickup I had with this haul is this premium linen long sleeve striped shirt. Me being very boring and neutral, of course, I had to go with beige, but they also have blue, which I do think I will pick up in the future. It being linen, it obviously has that nice texture to it, but most importantly, it's gonna be breathable, which for the spring is always nice because you can even transition this into summer as it continues to warm up. Again, I feel like this is a really versatile piece because you can wear it in some more formal occasions, button it all the way up, or even keep it unbuttoned, or dress it down by by throwing a tank top under it with some swimwear or shorts while you're at the beach or on vacation. And for 40 bucks, I'm really happy with this. I definitely see myself getting more in the future. Layering your outfits in the spring can definitely get a bit trickier. So a long sleeve linen is, in my opinion, always the safest way to go because it allows for that breathability. Now, cargo pants are always a great thing to have in your wardrobe. And for $50, I think these are a cannot miss option. Again, they do feature that drawstring on the inside, which I really like. And I did go with medium on these. And I think the fit is just right. As far as cargos go, these certainly have more of a relaxed 
best fit. So if you want more of that tailored or slim fitting look, then these are definitely not gonna be for you, which I certainly understand. But nonetheless, depending on the silhouette you're trying to achieve, if you want cargo pants that do have a wide fit to them, these are great. To be honest, yet again, I'm really impressed with the fabric. For $50, I thought they'd be a lot thinner, but honestly, they're pretty thick. And the material to me does feel high quality. I'll be fully honest, I did a haul last summer for Uniqlo and I was just really not overly impressed with some of the items and I figured I would try it again and I'm quite literally blown away and very impressed with the quality, the pricing, and the fit of all of these pieces. Usually when I buy six or seven items online, I usually only end up liking one or two. But I gotta say, everything that I put on here really had me impressed and unfortunately for my wallet, I do think I'm gonna be keeping everything. <laughs> but anyway, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and if you'll be picking any of these items up. If you guys found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It helps the video out a ton and also subscribe if you're interested to see more content like this in the future. And as always, my guys, I will see you on the next one. Later.